Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, back with a new week of what I packed for lunches for work. I am making some egg salad here. This was actually footage from Sunday, and now it's Monday, and I'm going to use the egg salad to make Matt a wrap on this sun-dried tomato basil tortilla. I just add a little bit of extra mayo on his wraps and sandwiches because I'm just not a mayo fan. And I always add cheese. This day I was using some Swiss cheese, which is his favorite. And obviously the egg salad that I had made the day before in my food and meal prep. And then I'm going to go ahead to and add some crisp romaine lettuce just for some crunch and freshness. If you are new here to my channel, I do have an entire playlist of lunch videos from over the years. If you want to check them out, they're always linked in the description box down below. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing the lunches we had for the week. Good morning guys, it's Monday and I'm getting ready to start off our work week packing us up for lunch. I am giving Matt a Snapple mango tea and a ginger ale and of course as always a water cooler. The wrap you guys saw me make on the sun-dried tomato basil wrap egg salad which has celery, red onion, and mayo with salt and pepper, some romaine lettuce, some Swiss cheese. I also put a pickle spear in the back. One of these Hormel Natural Choice Turkey and Cheddar like little snack packs. It's got turkey, cheddar obviously, and then it has chocolate covered pretzels. I'm also giving him a Reese Puff bar and I'll probably throw in like a banana. But yeah, this is his lunch today and I'll show you guys what I'm having a little bit later on today. All right guys, so for my lunch today, I'm bringing a Diet Snapple Peach Tea. I've got my water cup at work. I'm bringing a mixed berry yogurt to use at work because I have the rest, the last of my toffee almond granola that I want to use up in here. This I'm just going to bring to work to leave it there. They are the Clancy's Pretzel Slims. I got these at Aldi. They're in the everything flavor and I'm just going to leave these at work. I like to have at least one snack at work to snack on and then I'm bringing some of this Asian cold noodle salad. Um, I have this little round Tupperware thing. I'm just going to throw this all in my cooler and have this for lunch later. So yeah, that's what I'm having today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler. Today I'm giving him a blue cherry Gatorade Fierce and Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade. I made three little mini egg salad sandwiches. I use the mini little brioche slider rolls. They're really tiny. So there's three little egg salad sandwiches in there with Swiss cheese on them as well. I'm also giving him some more, just a little side of this noodle salad. Uh, we actually had some as a side last night for dinner. It was really good. And I'll probably finish the rest for lunch along with the rest of the egg salad as well. But yeah, this is what he's having for his main event. And then I also gave him a Trader Joe's peanut butter chewy coated and drizzled granola bar, as well as a sharp cheddar cheese stick by Sargento. And yeah, this is what Matt's having today. And I'll show you what I'm having later on. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I'm packing Matt sort of the same lunch as yesterday. So I've got three little mini sliders, two are egg salad because we had to use up the last of the egg salad. And then one is, my hands are clean, is some grilled leftover chicken that we had last night. So two egg salad with cheese, one grilled chicken with cheese, a little mayo on the rolls to keep everything binded. I've got a ginger ale for Matt a peach snapple tea and then the last of the cold Asian noodle salad. I'm also giving him a cheese stick and I might throw in a banana or some fruit as well. I'm going to ask him when he gets um when he comes downstairs. But anyways, this is what Matt is having today and I'll show you guys most likely what I'm having later. Um today Grady gets home at 11. In the morning, it's his last day of school, and it's also a half day, so I have no idea what we're going to be doing for lunch. We most likely are going to be going out doing a bunch of things, but I will show you guys later most likely what I am having. 
So on Wednesday, Grady had a half day at school and it's his last day of school. So I actually had to do some errands in the morning. Today's my first day off work for the next three weeks until Grady goes to summer camp. So I stopped by Chipotle, which was right near where I was doing errands. I got a burrito bowl. I just do the cilantro rice with chicken, no beans, tons of veggies, like the grilled veggies. And then I do corn salsa and mild. And then I got queso and chips as well and i'm just going to mow this down really quick gonna grab grady from school and we are going to go out on our first day of adventure for his summer break before camp and i'll see you guys tomorrow on thursday Good morning it is thursday and i'm getting ready to pack matt up for work i'm giving him a peach tea a snapple a dr pepper and this is just like the Spider-Man limited edition like summer uh, can I think I made two mini croissant sandwiches I got these mini croissants from Walmart and they have turkey Swiss cheese and a little bit of mayo on them I also am giving him a cut up cup of strawberries just sliced up and washed and ready to eat a bag of this Pirate's Booty um, this is a one ounce bag it looks really big but Pirate's Booty as you, most of you guys know is very light it's like a puffed gluten free um, corn in the cheddar flavor I'm also giving him a Sorgento sharp cheddar cheese cheese stick and one of these Hormel little pepperoni sticks that I found in the like lunchable area of Walmart so yeah this is what Matt's having today Grady and I are going to Six Flags today so uh, most likely we're going to eat something there because they don't allow you to bring in any outside food. Otherwise, I'd pack myself probably a couple of these. So I have no idea what I'm going to have. Probably not going to show a clip because I'm not bringing my camera there. But yeah, guys, this is what Matt's having today. And I'll show you guys on Friday what he's having as well. Good morning guys, it's Friday and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt for work today. I'm giving him a Dr. Pepper, some Snapple mango tea, and then last night we had some taco salads. So I had plenty of meat left to do a taco salad for him today, which I thought would be nice since it was a heavy sandwich and wrap week, which happens sometimes. But the uh, taco meat is just some lean ground beef with obviously taco seasoning. And then this is fresh corn that I just cut off the cob, I think a few months ago and froze it. So I thawed it out and cooked it up with the beef. Uh, bed of romaine and then I've got jalapeno red pepper black olives cheese cucumber and tomato in here and then for like a condiment I'm giving him a sour cream I get these from our home chef boxes that we order once a month um, and I don't like sour cream so I always have extra so I'm giving him one to put on his taco salad as well as a little container of taco sauce here and I've got a Trader Joe's a nutty chocolate chewy coated and drizzled granola bar as well as some cut up strawberries and obviously a fork i also wanted to note the asian noodle salad that i made earlier in the week i do actually have a couple clips from making that that i'm going to insert after this in case you are curious what i put in it and how i made it and that kind of thing so if you want to see that just keep on watching everybody else thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video all right guys, so I thought I would just share quickly this cold Asian noodle salad that I shared and showed in some clips in this week's lunch video. I had some leftover already cooked pasta that I had from a spaghetti and sauce night. So I just put it in a bag, threw it in the fridge, and the next day I just chopped it up a little bit so it wasn't so long and stringy. And then it was already cold and ready to work with. I used a spicy Asian peanut vinaigrette from Trader Joe's, which is really good. I also did a splash of sesame oil and reduced sodium soy sauce. I used some sesame seeds. I didn't add any salt and I did add a little bit of black pepper and then a bunch of veggies as you can see here some jalapeno broccoli zucchini tomato cucumber red onion and cilantro and it just was really good I tossed it all together and it just kind of came together and I sort of just 
kind of wung it. You can really use any combination of veggies that you like. And I just tossed everything together. Um, I did only have about a half a bottle of that Trader Joe's sauce. Otherwise, I've added, I would have added more. But that's all I had. And it worked out perfect. And it made a huge portion. And we were able to use it for a dinner side and several sides and lunches during the week. Thank you.